What's good, y'all? It's your boy Zay, and we back with another video, man. So, you know, if you watched last video, you know, we got the extra T10 bulbs. So, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put them in the interior lights. Should be a quick, easy install, man. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. As y'all can see, we got these nasty halogen bulbs, bro. You see the yellow. No, no, nobody like how that looks, man. So, we can go ahead and change these two out, and we're gonna change that one in the back, too. All right, so the first thing we're gonna want to do is go ahead and get you a little panel popper the same tool we used in the last video and what you're gonna do is you can go ahead and push your panel popper right here it should be a little clip and you should be able to pull it out just like that nice and easy go ahead and turn that off you don't want to burn your finger or nothing because they're gonna be hot that's what it look like you know what I'm saying Go ahead, do the other one real fast. Dang, about broke that mud and hit the other one go. What you wanna do is, you wanna get it in there and then push straight like that way. And get it in there, push straight, hold on. Hold on. You wanna get it in there and push straight that way. You wanna get it in here and push straight that way. And this is the part gonna be pushing up against right here. Here's a look at your T10s. Go ahead, try to pull this out real fast. That's what your halogen bulbs look like. Come on, baby. This one right here, the little wire part is like disconnected. Anyway, that shouldn't matter, so go ahead and put that in there. Go ahead and put the other T10 in there. Then you want to make sure they work. That looks great, baby. So let's go ahead and put these back up there. Oh, Lord. I'm doing the wrong thing, y'all. Pop that back in nice and easy. this one back in and yeah that look much better all right so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get to the back we got our panel popper and it's these little areas right here and right there where you can see like a little indentation and that's where the tab is at so we're going to go right there and try to pop it the same way we did before There we go, and as you can see, everything is just flying off today. That's what it looked like. We can go ahead and pull this out. Make sure it's not too hot when you try to pull it. I can't get this one. As you can see, I had to use my panel popper to get it out because it's pretty tucked snug in there. Well, it's not even tucked snug. It's just kind of like the angle of where it's at because it's going to be in there and then it's like kind of back there a little bit tucked in right there. So, yeah. We got our T10 right here. Go ahead and squeeze that boy in there. This one definitely a snug fit, man. There we go, got it in there. It's working is good. Pop this back up there. And yeah, bro. I went ahead and did the trunk too. I couldn't really film it for y'all, but all y'all do is, it's a section right here where you want to put your panel popper through 
and you can pop it out just like that. Well, actually, let me go ahead and show y'all real quick. Just pop it out just like that. Yep, as y'all can see, got that LED in there. Oh, dang, I think I'll pop the LED out. Hold on. With the trunk, you're going to want to make sure that you pop it in back the right way. Because when I did it, I guess my, I don't know if my wiring is loose or if my LED is loose. But if I popped it in on the wrong side where the wiring was facing that way, then it wouldn't work. But if I popped it in with the wiring facing this way, the left side didn't work. I don't know, y'all. But yeah, this was a quick, easy. I can't even say it. I don't know, y'all. But this was a quick and easy install, man. As you can see, we got them in there working good. So yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in with your boy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see next, bro. I'm coming back with more next Saturday, man. I'm gone.